beings. Now, normally I wouldn't uh, show a lot of these, but um, because they they can be dismissed as pareidolia, but but uh, it's worth showing because uh, you know we we people we think this is real. It is happening in the woods, in the forest, and there are things with the trees and the branches. Yeah, because I was like, when I came back, you know, uh, I saw the tree was broken up and took some photos of it, and there they were. There were like hundreds of them when I looked at those pictures. But uh, I'm very careful about showing these kind of things because uh, I want to only give you or yeah hey guys so i want to show you some i want to give you like quality footage for the most of it like close up and uh, not so blurry like the gnome under the ultraviolet light or like that footage from uh, colorado bigfoot from mark by that thing in the tree well the, I, i'm not sure if i'm ever gonna get a, that good uh, picture but uh, it's like you can see a face in a photo but especially in the forest if if there is the structures if you are questioning that's a being or not if there's a structure there if there's an x a leaner you don't have to question it if that is a detailed face with jaw nose eyes you know the whole thing the whole detail that and multiple of them it just can't just be random right well, uh, I'll let you decide, of course. Long time ago. But the way that's arranged, it's quite interesting. I don't think that's random. Classic leaner. Yeah, that's a classic leaner and some kind of structure. Of course, this was not done by humans, you can see it there. Same with this, trees don't just break off out of nowhere. This is not even rotten. See that? This is far from rotten, almost fresh. That's a rotten tree, you know. And that's like, it was growing here. You can excuse that one for being an animal. But some of these are like, can't be random, you know, can't be. Well, it's difficult to explain with your, um, indoctrinated logical thinking because that's that logic that you're trying to apply to it it's not really logic now i zoomed in and found this guy now i don't know about you but that looks like a goblin to me or maybe an eel leprechaun and there's a, another guy they're overlapping him they basically no clip into each other I'm not saying they're evil, but it doesn't exactly look like they came out of church. But if that is a goblin, that will mean that's a homunculus. And if there are homunculus, they're not natural beings. Now, I think that's the big question here. Are these homunculus? Are they natural beings? Or are they both? That's the big question. Not much interesting right here. Okay. Let's take a last look here and then the next video. Yeah, I got this intuitive nudge that to go up this way and that first thing I saw was this tree and look at that 
food. Look at that. It's like... I don't think this is strong enough to penetrate that. That's impossible. This will never have penetrated this. Well, it like fell off. Didn't fell off. This is like... This must have been done on purpose. This doesn't just happen by accident. You know. How do your logic explain that? Yeah, it was just a wind or an elk. You know, people are gonna make up any excuse, any logical explanation they can come up with. They're gonna use to excuse this not being something strange, you know. But uh, if you have uh, paid attention, it's almost undeniable if you just have an open mind, you know. That's just how it is. I guess someone will always live in denial. There's some more interesting things here, you know. I'm on my way to, like, area I was in my last video. But I had to stop by here. Look at this. This is like a typical thing. I don't know what's, what else is here now. I'll go deep into the forest. This is why, where people are going here. Yeah, th this is kind of boring. It's there. It's their activity, but it's not like huge trees. We're gonna go where the huge uh, structures are, you know. Right, see ya. Yeah, that was that last liner on the way out there. You might notice I gave you better footage this time, because I used a different camera. Yeah, you know, I got this action camera. It's not all that good, but... It's like easy accessible, you know, can just pick it from your pocket, you know. Not like pickpocket, you, you can't pickpocket yourself, but... Yeah, you remember that? It was kind of shit, the footage on that action camera. I think I gotta buy a better one. But, uh... Yeah, this is like... Mo the most interesting place I have found. It doesn't seem like much as changed since uh, last time I was here but I want to go deep today it's gonna be interesting one thing I know I definitely want to do right now is check out the seat and there it is This is traces of God knows what. This seat, yeah. I have a feeling it's that is that bear looking creature that's standing under that bridge. Could be sitting here. Something like that, you know. Who knows what they look like? But that on that uh, picture, I'm gonna put it on up on the display. That guy, he is approximately that size, you know. He's like three times taller, or at least two times taller than a regular human being. Oh, 
there's a tree there and we gotta check that out it's like you know it needs some quality footage I know there it is zoom in on it and uh, focus there we go yeah that thunder did that yeah or maybe it was uh, a squirrel yeah that's a logical explanation bro it's gonna work now I'll go deeper that way my god know what I'm gonna find here that's the first X but there is a trace here something has been walking could be humans but see that track there could be an animal I don't think it's humans maybe it's not animals either ha ah, check this out I found something cool There's a track, a little track. I think they are right there. I, th I think I saw them. Probably right there. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure I saw something. trying to distract me from something cool going on over here check this out oh it was solved off by human well never mind I don't think well, this is interesting is not that <laughs> check this out bro Well, it might have been sawed off by a human, but... Why will they do that, really? They didn't even take the tree, they just sawed it off for no reason. Didn't bring it. <laughs> Maybe standing right there. That's the guy, you know, that's one of the beings. Hello there. I don't know. It's what you can expect, something like this, you know, just a pareidolia face. But you know, I can't reach him. I can't, I can go to that. And I can't. Smell him, touch him, and see him. He's not there. You know. But if you see like transparent faces, kind of like they are like masters of camouflage. People don't understand that they allow them. They allow themselves to be fooled. You know. Or they're just fake users. I mean, in the community, you know. Lots of fake people in the community. It's just there to sabotage. Just attack this significant... Discovery. Now... I'm sorry, but I I cannot promise you that every video is going to be just as good as the one that made you subscribe to my channel, you know. 
So someone might subscribe because they like one video, but then you upload another video and they unsubscribe because of that video. Well, you know, I don't mind, but uh, you might be missing out on something cool in the future. Are my uh, videos really taking up that much space in your feed? Well, <laughs> that's not my problem. You know, I got that really high quality picture of that gnome. And there's gonna be more. There's gonna be a lot more like this. When, uh, you know, when, uh, Darkness is dawning this year, this winter, this fall. I'm gonna be able to catch or capture some really interesting things on camera. What is this trace? I don't know. That almost looks like some kind of dinosaur trace, you know. How is that possible? It has like three. Or is it two? Only two, like a... That's just a very interesting place. I don't know what that is. It could be an animal. I'm not gonna assume that that's a magical being or something. But it could be. It could be. You never know. What is over here? I'll find this. Most of these trees, it's like all the the branches are laying all over around this. I found lots of these. Now what caused it? Was it birds? The birds are hanging so much it's in this tree, this rotten old tree. Branches are just falling off when it land on them. Maybe that's a logical conclusion. That will work. No, could be that for all I know. But certain systems and patterns we're gonna recognize. Look at this. I think they're living in there, like a little teepee structure. I know. Tree laying there. Oh, oh, check this out. I found something interesting here. Not just this, but this. Look at that. It's not rotten at all, you know. Oh, the wind did it. Yeah, uh, you know, all those trees around, you know. They are blocking the wind. It's not that much wind in the forest. Like, how the hell did that happen? I'm really gonna think the wind did this? That's what people think. What's more crazy? You know, with the logic we've been taught. It's more crazy to think, yeah, some mysterious force did this some some elusive being did this yeah that's so crazy in uh, our modern society To me, thinking that the wind are breaking trees like that is also kind of crazy. It doesn't really apply very well logically. A new interesting place, we're going deeper, bro. Oh, here's a 
This is human track. A human road. I screwed up. I'm going on the Sasquatch Highway, baby. You. Sasquatch Highway, baby. Right up here, I think. Gonna have to grab onto something. Almost. Ah. There we go. Is there something cool here? Is there any beings living around here? It's been a human cutting off with their chainsaws. That doesn't prove anything. There's no Sasquatch highway here. Just human sabotage. What's the point of cutting all these trees, man? If you're not gonna use them for something like heating the house in the winter, just gonna or make use it for something, anything. I heard this bird. It's like making a noise and in synchronicity with with me. Why is that? Oh, another human road. That's why there's not so much activity here. Can't find much Bigfoot stuff, you know. Maybe we're gonna take a break from this big foot stuff and just walk this way and see what I find. Yeah, so check this out. Yeah, I know these guys. You know these guys? They don't have a clue what's going on, you know? And I think you know who they are too, you know? They just put this up to dry, just sabotaging the the forest, you know. Right? I know how I know that's human. Just another confirmation. There's not a single X or leaner in sight, you know. Just these. But this was humans. There's not one. I go, I can see any X or leaner, or tridents, or anything. That should give you some contrast, right? Yeah, so I'm on my path here. And, uh, and on the way here I find some big food activity. Most plaintive. Classical leaners everywhere. And the bark taken off. Well, I don't know what the name in English is. That was the right name, but you know, the skin of the tree is peeled off from these leaners. If an elk did that, how did he lean them into the trees like this? I might, I, elk might have caused this to fall off, but did he put them up there? You know, these are the classic leaners everywhere. Yeah. Big sign. People are well, it's walking past this every day. And never seen, <laughs> never, probably never taking note of this. Oh. Yeah, that's just uh, 
an elk who did that, you know. He put the, also put the tree up like that. And like arranges like this. And he put it in his mouth and place it there. Just like this one. It was the moose. There we go. Much more. They just keep going and going here. Check this out. What did this? The wind? How could the b wind bl be blowing this way? That powerful. That strongly. With all those trees blocking the wind. How is that possible? Is that logical? You gather you think that. Oh, eyes like a fly. Fly landing right in my eye, you know. I was trying to get inside my freaking eye. I would hate that. Are trying to distract me? No, you're not gonna distract me, bro. I'm gonna check out these leaners. No. This tree. I think it's growing. It's stuck to the to the ground here. I guess it's also stuck to the ground. But they're al almost like leaners, you know. But I can't see this. Oh, okay. I'm walking away from the track. I don't wanna. I don't want to go walk, walk too far from the track, you know. But uh, gotta check this out. Examining, investigate, bigfoot activity, a leprechaun activity. Think we can catch a leprechaun? If we did, we would have a a big thing of, of uh, gold. Yeah, someone's calling. I gotta hang up.